Welcome back guys for another week of working on the sawmill shed. Yes, we are finally getting back to doing some work on this. Uh, hopefully, we'll definitely get some stuff done today. We should be back out here again tomorrow as well. Uh, first thing to get done is to get in the last little strip of sheathing in there. Get that finished up. And then we'll start work on the underlayment, putting the felt paper down on top of that. Uh, we also uh, may get drip edge in there as well. I don't know, we'll see how it kind of all plays out and uh, how quickly things go. Alright, that's going to do it for the sheathing. I also had to cut a little 3 inch uh, section of sheathing uh, just to cover up a little bit of a gap that we had left here on the long side. And then I decided to get really fancy and then added in a uh, little strip. It was actually for stickers. I just used a couple really long strips of sticker and ran that along this one little gap that was left on the short side to uh, close that up as well. Uh, so the next thing to work on now is our underlayment. Put the felt paper down. Each roll of felt paper has 72 feet of paper in it and we have 36 feet of roof across here. So if I cut it exactly in half we should be able to get two uh, runs of felt paper out of each one of the rolls. Okay, that's one roll down and five more rolls worth of stuff up here to go. And one nice thing that I found out is that a 72 foot roll actually has more like 74 feet of felt paper in it. So that gives me a little bit to play with. I don't have to get the cuts, you know, right perfect along the, uh, the edge of the roof uh, when I'm cutting it in half. So that makes it a little bit easier to uh, get that up here. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the long side over here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how these are going to meet up in the middle. And of course I want the top one to kind of be overlapping on both sides. So we're going to switch over to the long side, work our way up through here, and then we can kind of see how this top section is going to work itself out. We are killing it out here today. This is going a whole lot quicker than I was anticipating it would go. So we've got two more strips to put on here yet. We'll do one from this side, roll that across, that'll kind of go over the peak a little bit, uh, overlap that, and then we'll have another one over on this side, and then that'll kind of overlap the peak coming from the other direction. So I think we should be good with that.
Well, it almost looks like I knew what I was doing. I'm actually kind of surprised that we finished this all up today. Uh, I didn't think it was actually going to go this fast. So that's really good though, because most things take twice as long as I thought it was going to take. So tomorrow we'll be back out here and we'll work on drip edge. And I guess we might also get some panels done too. Um, Cause I don't think the drip edge is gonna take that long to put on. So we actually might get a few panels done this week. All right, day two. So today we are working with metal. So for like maybe the second time, third time in this project, we're pulling out a pair of gloves here. Uh, I really don't care to be making a trip to the ER to get stitches in my hands cause I got cut. So we'll be making use of our proper safety equipment today. We've got all of our short ones up there and I think for the first time in this build uh, the short side is going to be the harder side to do and the reason I say that as far as getting them up there because we had to lift all those short ones up uh, hoist them up with a rope whereas with the long ones uh, they're tall enough that we can just take them and lean them up against the the edge there and we can just grab onto them and lift them up so I think the long ones are actually going to be easier to get up there in this case than the short ones were. Well, I think we're going to call it a, uh, a day, a week. Uh, we got all of our panels up here. They're ready to go. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just stack them up and then we'll throw a strap over top of them to hold them down up here. We're running a little low on, on time today, so I'm not sure I really want to start on trying to hook any of these panels down. And I'm also lacking a little bit of ambition after lugging all of those things up here onto the roof to uh, <laughs> want to start working on that either. Alright, so as you can see, we've got everything stacked up. Uh, all the 10s are on one stack, all the 18s are on another stack. And we got stuff tied down up there, so hopefully the wind does not take it over to the neighbor's property. That would not be good, especially after I just spent all that time carrying it up there. So, that is going to be it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next week.